The mindsets of a scientist versus a believer is like night and day. It's difficult for each of them to understand the other because of this. Being raised a creationist, I had the creationist mindset. Uh, to point this out, I will explain the difference. In my first year of college, 12 years ago, I took a mythology class. I love mythology as well as science fiction. During the course of the class, my teacher assigned a topic, which I can't even remember the topic, but it was something to do with comparative myths and showing patterns uh, through Joseph Campbell's books. I didn't understand at all why we had to study Campbell. I just wanted to know about the gods. Well, the conclusion I came up with about the comparison and similarities was one that my dad was currently reading from the Institute of Creation Research about uh, Seth, Enoch, and Nimrod. So I basically invented an idea as to why all myths have similarities and claimed that it was because of what happened in the age of Nimrod and the post-flood happenings. I assumed this was good enough and may win a convert for uh, Jesus, you know, and I thought that the person grading it would be impressed by my theory in the most pedestrian of meanings. I also wrote down on the paper that this is what I believe and assumed that it held academic merit. The grader wrote back and said, well, that's an interesting idea, but it has nothing to do with the assignment. I ended up getting an F on the paper. This was the first time I had ever not been given special treatment for coming up with an idea supporting the Bible. It was a wake-up call because I had expected to do very well on it. I had rationalized for myself that it was a good idea, and looking back, I realized it was laziness that made me switch topics. I found Campbell to be boring and too complex, so I wrote a paper about what I wanted to write about, which you can't do in an academic setting. I have, I have a feeling that had I been in a Christian college, I would have been oohed and awed over, maybe even given tenure a book deal. Science is conservative. Science is based on what we know. Religion is based on what could be. We have another thing called that. It's called science fiction, but you don't see people taking science fiction and fantasy seriously. Oh wait, Scientology. Thinking about what might be is fun. It's called imagination and fiction, but it can't be used in science. Scientists only work with what they know, and they don't go beyond that. They don't make up things to fill in the gaps, and while theories like evolution are viewed by believers to be just made up, a model to explain something that all the facts prove, without any conflicting facts, is close to being the correct assumption. It may require adjustments in the future, but is the most accurate one we have. A philosophy is also another issue where coming up with all possible options is important. Then you use Occam's razor to eliminate the least, the, the least likely ones and go with the most likely based on the facts. That's how philosophy works. Science fiction and religion are nothing but fact mining. And when you're doing it for fun, it's a great mental exercise to let the mind wander. But when you teach it as fact, you're retarding the scientific process and human understanding.